Okay, so today um, we're going to be working on making some cloth textures. And uh, cloth is kind of a weird one uh, because it does not have a lot of specular. Like it's pretty, it's pretty flat for the most part. But it also uh, has some uh, translucency to it so that you can kind of see light uh, through it just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Let's get into this. Um, you'll see here, like, one of the things of cloth is that, you know, the light kind of bounces off it from one side, but then you should still be able to see where that light is, uh, you know, coming through the cloth. Again, so you got to get a little bit of that translucency, so you have a little bit of that light passing, but you don't want it to be completely see-through at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, like even in the background here, you can see this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about where it's a curtain. So, you know, from the outside, you can't see in, but from the inside, you can sort of see out. So you can see here the node set up for this sheet is, um, it's really pretty simple. Actually, there's only just a few textures here that are getting mixed together and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, um, I'm going to just, uh, let's see. We're just going to hide these and <laughs> hide this. And I'm going to add in a plane. And I am going to uh, bring it up and rotate it so it's kind of in the orientation of a sheet. And I'm going to give it a new material. And I'm going to add in a mix, uh, mix shader. And I'm going to add in a um, translucence shader here. Plug that into the bottom of the mix. And um, now you'll see that it's like completely see-through, and that's not really what we want. So um, I'm going to next to add in. I have um, this picture of this kind of like, uh, I guess I'd call it like old threaded carpet almost. <laughs> And um, I'm going to plug that into the normal here. And I'm going to add in a bump map. Plug this into the height. Bring down the strength. Um, then I'm going to plug this into the color here. And um, I'm going to, with the node wrangler enabled, and you can enable that in preferences under add-ons, I'm going to press control, control T and I'll bring up this um, this mapping node group here. And I'm going to just bring the size down. So I'm going to select all these and maybe do 10. That might be a little too small. I don't know. It You kind of have to tweak this based on what you're making because it kind of changes for everything. But just so we'll see it, I'll do 5. And then I'm going to bring the specular down here till it's pretty much non-existent, either none at all or just a tiny little bit. And I'm going to plug the roughness in here. And I'm going to add in a color ramp. And I'm going to plug this in here. And if I select this by doing Control shift uh, left click you'll see that um, we have some blacks and some whites in here. And the black is going to be more reflective and the white is going to be less. So I'm going to change this black color here, maybe up to like a gray and then crunch this in because we really don't want it to be that reflective. Actually, to be honest, it probably would look better if you inverted it here. So that way the like the tops of the um, fabric have more of a reflectiveness and then the inside grooves are really, really flat. We can we can try it out and see what it looks like. Um, because it's occurring to me now that that could look really good. OK. Um, I guess next I'll add in a picture like I used for the other uh, sheet, which is just this picture I found of a curtain. And um, I'm going to plug that into the base color here. And let's see. Similar deal, I'm going to do Control T to bring out this mapping node setup. And I might make this a little smaller, like three or something. I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to go back to this mix shader. And I'm going to change it because we don't want it to be too much of this translucent, but we don't want it to be too much of the straight sheet. So 
maybe just a, like a little bit so you can kind of see through it but not a ton and we could even do a little bit more than that i'm not sure um let's see it's it's really up to you and again it's on like what type of fabric you're trying to make i am then going to um add in a solidify modifier in the modifiers tab and that's much too thick so um i'm gonna narrow this down like 0 0.002 maybe still too thick so 0 0.005 yeah we just want it like to have a little bit of thickness and you can see here that now the trans uh translucent uh shader isn't doing as much so we can turn it back up because this is really what you want like once you get some thickness going um then it looks really good because on one side you know it's straight flat and on the other side you can see where the uh light is shining through these grooves and i think that looks really cool and you can turn this up to the amount that you want. But now if you have a light source in the room, when you get up real close, you'll be able to see it straight through the um, straight through the pattern. And I think that's really neat. But basically, the main thing here is just to get kind of that base that has the thread texture with the little bit of like bump and a little, maybe a tiny little bit of uh, roughness. Not much, though. Um, and have that plugged into some very, very flat texture, and then have that be mixed with uh, translucent. And then you can basically throw on any, um, any color over that that you wanna see. And it, you know, it works pretty well. It, again, it's kind of like a game where you have to go through and you have to keep tweaking everything because uh, it's gonna, based off the fabric you're trying to do, it's gonna look different for every single thing. You can also, if you really, really want to go one step further, you can add in um, like a texture of just like cloth. And um, then you can plug that in to the displacements. Maybe add in a mix shader here so that we can make it slightly less severe. And now it has even more of a cloth feel to it. You can also achieve the same effect using a um, like a cloth simulation, and uh, you could also do both, where uh, you use a cloth simulation, like I did for this one, and then um, you go in and you add in some sort of cloth texture um to get some extra like micro wrinkles um though this is just so insanely big though i think i'd turn this down like point three. Oh, but now it's now we're getting some distortion yeah anyways it's kind of a it's kind of a dancing game to find out what would work and what doesn't just play around with it but again it's like the base is kind of what's the most important like getting in those initial textures you know of the um the flat original and then the translucent and then having it mixed together so you can see through it a little bit anyways yeah i hope this is helpful and um i will see you in the next one